Hi, this is Julie with Beataholic, and in this video I want to show you how to add a jump ring to a pre-made tassel. So I've got the pre-made tassels up here and they're really pretty. You can see they come in a nice selection of colors. The longer one is two and a half inches and then these guys here are one and a half inches long. So let me show you what this actually looks like. I'm going to pull one out. There are actually six pre-made tassels on this one thread and the thread is what is holding them together. So let me just scoot them apart a little bit so you can see them. And what we need to do now is we need to find a way of attaching them to our jewelry designs. And for me, I think the easiest way is to just add a jump ring. So right here I have an eight millimeter jump ring. It's 20 gauge and it's an open jump ring. So let's go ahead and open up that jump ring first before we do anything else. So just grab it on either side with a pair of chain nose pliers and twist. So we've got our jump ring ready. Now we need to get the tassel off of here. Now these do just slide very easily, but I want the opening that I'm gonna slide my jump ring through to be a little bit bigger because what I'm going to do, essentially do is thread the jump ring through the core where this thread is once I pull the tassel off and then loop it around but I want that hole to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab the top of the tassel and I'm gonna pull the center area. Actually, you can also grab just the thread. I'm just gonna pull the center area down and that's that center wrappings that I'm pulling down. There we go. So you can see a comparison now, basically doubled that interior area. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it off the thread, so I've got my tassel, and now I need to slide that jump ring in. So I'm just gonna take the opening, and you can see there's a little gap there where the thread left, and I'm just going to patiently slide it through, like so. Go ahead, pull it down to the center, and now we need to close our jump ring. Now, make sure your jump ring is closed evenly. And I'm gonna give you one little tip here. In the design department, we tried to rotate that little opening of the jump ring so it was hidden beneath the fibers of the tassels. It didn't work so great. It ended up catching a lot on the edge threads, so I wouldn't recommend it. I just make sure that you have that jump ring really neat and tidy and closed, and you can just leave it up top. You really don't see the opening. But what you can now do with this tassel is attach it to any part of your jewelry design, which is really fun. So that is how you attach a jump ring to a pre-made tassel. You can find these tassels, the jump rings, and a lot of other projects and ideas at beadaholic.com.